welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to get a mini map in Minecraft 1.16.2 specifically we're gonna be getting Xero's mini map in Minecraft 1.16.2 as you can see we've not updated this video since 1.15 so it's time to update it we're gonna be getting it up today and then when you you know come to this tutorial here this will video you're watching will be right here and it will say you the correct version but nonetheless that's not here nor there we're gonna be getting a mini map today we're gonna to be showing you everything about the mini map some of the different controls of the mini map all that it's gonna be covered in this video first and foremost though we do have some more sponsor which is apex minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible 24-hour ddos in minecraft server for you and your friends we actually love apex so much that we have our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them so if you're looking for a great minecraft server for you and your friends you love and enjoy check out apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible server up and running but you're not here to get a minecraft server you are here to get a mini map so let's go ahead and get that mini map set up and installed the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below this is going to take you here this is actually our text tutorial for xero's mini map where you know you can kind of go through here and go through stuff at your own pace we understand that sometimes i talk a little bit fast in these videos and because of that we have these text tutorials available if you uh should want them but nevertheless if you don't want them you want to follow along with the video just click on this yellow download xero's mini map button that will then take you off to this download page here. This is the official download page for Xero's minimap, where you can then come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until you see the Minecraft 1.16 version. Then come under that and find where it says Forge 1.16.2. As you can see right here, it says Forge 1.16.2 at the end of this version. That's the one we want. We want the Forge version of Xero's minimap. So come next to that Forge version and click on that purple download button there. Your download will then begin after a few seconds. You're going to need to keep this file or save the file. I'll show you what I mean by that. So in the bottom left, if you're on Google Chrome, you will click Keep. Right? It's 100% save. As you can see, it says Xero's minimap. Go ahead and click Keep on that. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop in the center of your screen where you'll need to save the file. It is, again, 100% safe to save the file. Now, we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Forge is required to run Xero's minimap. That's why you need it. So let's go ahead and get it downloaded. To do that, you want to go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. Now, this is our in-depth Forge tutorial. Just like before with the Xero's minimap tutorial, this is our in-depth Forge tutorial. I'm going to be going over the basics of Forge here, but if you have issues, come here to this text tutorial or watch this video, and you'll be able to see some of the more new nuances and different things that you could have issues with and how to fix those with Forge. But nevertheless, once you're here, click on this green download Forge button. That will take you to Forge's official website where you want to make sure it says 1.16.2. Right here, it should say MC 1.16.2. It doesn't. It says 1.15. So to fix that, click on the left-hand side where it says plus 1.16 and then click on 1.16.2. Once you have MC 1.16.2 here, come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. That will then take us off to Add Focus, where STOP! You don't want to click a single thing on this page! Not a thing. Do not click a single download button. Don't click anything at all on this page. Not a thing. Wait seven seconds. And then in the top right, a red skip button will appear. Again, the only thing you want to click on this website here is the red skip button in the top right. And when you click on that red skip button in the bottom left of Google Chrome and in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, a pop-up will happen or a file will start to appear. And that file should say Forge. If it does say Forge, go ahead and click Keep. If it doesn't, click Discard, click Cancel, whatever. But if it does say Forge, click Keep. And then in the center of your screen, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, click Save as long as it says Forge. Now, again... If it doesn't say that, don't download it and just click that red skip button in the top right. The only reason you should have any issues here, by the way, is if you don't click that red skip button. So click the red skip button. But nevertheless, click that red skip button and then your Forge will download. You'll need to keep it or save it. Now, if we minimize our browser, hit our desktop, we have X0's Minimap and Forge. We also have a uh, John Smith Legacy Texture Pack, but we don't need that. Nevertheless, we have X0's Minimap and Forge here. We also have this unconfirmed file. You most likely won't have that. That's just left over on my desktop because I didn't prepare for this tutorial correctly. But nevertheless, we have Forge and X0's Minimap. Now, if these are on your desktop, go ahead and click on the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen. Probably going to be in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and type in Downloads, right like so. And then have this Downloads file folder in Windows. Go ahead and click on that, and here you will have Xero's Minimap and Forge. You can drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get this installed. We're actually going to be starting off with Forge, so let's go ahead and right-click on that. 
click on open with, and then you should have Java. But what if you don't have Java? Or what if these files don't look right like this, right? They don't look like these Java coffee cups. They look like something else. Well, if these don't look correct, or if you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, you go ahead and go to the description and grab Java. And this is actually our in-depth tutorial for getting Java for Minecraft mods. As far as I know, Xero's mini maps and Minecraft mods, so you need it here for your mini map. So go ahead, get Java installed if you don't have it already. If you didn't have Java when opening Forge there, run through this quick tutorial get it set up and then you should be good to go however you still have issues you need to run the jar fix what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them to java once again if you want your jar files to look like jar files like mine do you want to run the jar fix to make that happen now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and here on our desktop again we have forge we're going to right click on forge we're going to click on open with this time you should have java click on java there and click ok it will then go ahead and open up the mod system installer for Forge, where all you want to do is click on install client and click OK. Now it's going to go through, download, do the things that it needs to do to add Forge to Minecraft. And guess what? We need Forge in order to run Minecraft with Xero's minimap. We need Forge installed. So it's going to eventually finish on up here and it will come up and say successfully installed Forge client profile. You can tell I've done this before and uh, it will go ahead and be OK, right? It'll be good. There we go. Successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.16.2. Awesome. We can go ahead and click OK there and then close out of the mod system install for Forge. And you can actually delete this Forge file. In some cases, you can't delete it until you've opened Minecraft and closed it. If that's the case, that's OK. But nevertheless, you can remove that from your desktop. Now we need to install Xero's minimap, however. And to do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. And from here, you want to make sure you have the Forge profile selected. So to do that, click the little arrow to the left of the play button here, this little drop down box, and then click on Forge. But what if you don't have Forge here? Or what if you do and it doesn't say 1.6? 16.2 under it. It should say Forge and it should say 1.16.2 Forge under that. Well, if you don't have that, no worries. In that case, you want to click on the installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft. Then you want to click on this plus new button. Then you can name this installation whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that's our own incredible grief protected survival Minecraft server. We've got grief protected 1.16.2 survival with medieval survival having 30 custom quests in a player based economy and aquatic survival having an awesome size shop based economy. We're not done there though. We've also got amazing custom 10 player based small team PvP factions. It's incredible. You'll love our faction server. So much custom work has went into that. And then we also have custom skyblock as well with OP enchantments, 1.8 PvP, custom islands, Finch generators, an amazing economy, and so much more. So come play with this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and now click on this version drop-down box. Then in here, you should have released 1.16.2-Forge. For me, it's right up here at the top. You may have to scroll down here to the bottom to grab it, but nevertheless, you want to find release 1.16.2-Forge, and then click on it. I'm going to change our resolution. You don't need to do that, but we're making a video here. We want you to be able to see in-game. And then click Create in the bottom right. Then you have this new profile in our case called play.breakdowncraft.com and then you have 1.16.2-forge under that. Go ahead and highlight this profile you created and then click on that green play button. Now, Minecraft will open up with Forge installed, and from here, it's very easy to install Xero's minimap. The hard part of getting Xero's minimap is done. It's actually the prep that is the hard part. The actual process of installing the mod, it's very easy. So you don't have to worry about that too much once you get into Minecraft. So as we can see, Forge is opening up. It's doing all of its stuff. It's doing actually loading up yes everything up until you see that mojang logo is forge loading and everything after that is mostly minecraft with forge kind of doing a few things during that process but here we are on the minecraft main menu forge is obviously installed it says forge at the top it also says it in the bottom left and then we can click on mod so once you're on the minecraft main menu with forge here you'll have this mods tab click on that mods tab when you click on the mods tab it'll take you here where all you need to do to install xero's minimap is click on the open mods folder button in the bottom left so once you click on that open mods folder button, take Xero's minimap and drag and drop it into your mods folder, right like so, right? So take Xero's minimap from your desktop, drag and drop it into this mods folder that we got to by clicking the open mods folder button in the bottom left of Minecraft, then come back to Minecraft. And it's not gonna be here. It's never actually going to appear here until you restart Minecraft with Forge. So let's go ahead, click done quit the game and then we want to go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher again this time you don't have to worry about creating a profile or anything like that that's all done for you as you can see we have the profile recreated play.breakdowncraft.com that says 1.16.2 forge under it we can select it here and then all we have to do is click that play button it's that simple you don't have to recreate you don't have to do any of that complicated stuff like i said the complicated stuff is over and then as it's loading up here you'll actually be able to see completed deep scan of xero's minimap so that means it's recognized doesn't necessarily mean the mod's gonna work it's just there and it recognizes it we do know in 
this case, it is going to work, right? One, I've tested it. Two, you're watching this tutorial so you can make sure the mod works. But nevertheless, that means the mod is recognized. You've got it in the right place. Now it just needs to make sure it can load it up, which it has done here. And we're going to be able to load right on in to the Minecraft main menu with, of course, Xero's minimap. So once we're here, we can click on mods, and there it is, Xero's minimap. As you can see, the most vanilla looking minimap for Minecraft. We can then come over here into options, and then we can go into controls, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you will actually see all of Xero's minimap's different functions. This is actually good to know. You can do an enlarge map with Z, map settings with Y. All of this stuff is listed here, and it's very, very good to know this stuff because, well, you're going to be using it all. Let's go ahead and jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, and check this out. So once we're online here, I'm going to be in, let's see, we're in factions now. Let's go ahead and jump over to our medieval survival server. Now, we do have some minimap rules here. I'm not going to be too concerned with those. I just want to show off how awesome this minimap is on Breakdowncraft. So as we run around here, you can see the minimap is in the top left there. Let's go ahead and toggle the featherboard. But nevertheless, if we want to zoom in on that, I believe we can hit plus here. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I've accidentally made Minecraft full screen, and it has messed so much stuff up. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Let me do a quick jump cut to get this out of full screen. There we go. Sorry about that. Now Minecraft is out of full screen, but we can hit Y. Here are the minimap settings. As you can see, all of the different ones are here. They also have a cool game on Google Play called Flare Jump. It's from the developer. It's kind of cool. I like to see developers doing stuff outside of Minecraft. It's kind of cool. But nevertheless, we have that there. I think it was you to open up waypoints. Yes, you can set waypoints here. So you could do spawn, for example. Boom. Right like so. Confirm. Click done, and there is the spawn waypoint. Uh, what are the other controls? Let's see. If we go into controls here, we can see. I'm curious about enlarging the map. Yes, so that was Z. So you can click Z to enlarge the map, and we can kind of run around here to, you know, bring the map out more, kind of fill it out more. As you, you know, explore, you'll be able to see more and more of the map, and then it'll be all nice, but you can see this is the Breakdown Craft Medieval Spawn Castle here, which is just stunning. I love this castle. It's one of my favorite builds we've ever done on Breakdown Craft. Absolutely amazing. But nevertheless, as you can see here, the minimap is expanding from there. Plus and minus, unfortunately, won't work for me. Uh, the reason for that <laughs> is because I have a 10 keyless keyboard, so my keyboard isn't, uh, you know, full keyboard. And uh, if I hit the plus or minus button, it is actually going to enlarge Minecraft because it's also F11. So it's not good. I would need to change those controls, basically. Uh, and I should be good if I change those controls. But nevertheless, that is still how you can do that. Actually, plus is quick waypoint. Zoom in and out is I and O. That was my bad. So if we press I and O, you can see we are zooming out with O, zooming in with I, right like so. Awesome stuff. So that's how you can zoom your mini map in and out. And then apparently the plus button is how you can do a quick waypoint, and that's the one that I cannot do. But nevertheless, you now have Xero's mini map in Minecraft 1.16.2. Come play with us on the best Minecraft 1.16.2 server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Skyblock, factions, custom survival. This is our medieval survival server. We also got aquatic survival, and it is just incredible. You will love it. So again, come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.